Hello, my name is Randall Kozak. I'm the coordinator for the Computer Applications Development Program. I'm pleased to learn that you're interested in learning more about computer applications development. I have a short slideshow that I'd like to go through with you. Computer Applications Development, uh, we call it CAD for short, that's the acronym. And why would students be interested in this program? Well, I think there are a number of reasons. It's quite a unique program, and I'm gonna say more about that in a moment. For many students, this can represent a fairly exciting new beginning. The software development field, and that's what this program is about, it's about software development, and that field has been strong for a very long time. We are in a time of uncertainty right now. And I would say that when that happens, it is probably good to be in a field that has historically been very strong for employment. And that this field is certainly that. Not only have there been lots of information technology positions available going back several decades now, but nowadays there is a wider range of positions within that field than there have ever been. And that's very exciting. Uh, well, what is it exactly? It's a graduate certificate. And so I said something about this being a unique program. So this is going to address that. So students coming into the program have to have a degree or diploma of some kind. That's not the unique part. The unique part is that students can access this program from any kind of a background. We have had students come into it with history degrees, philosophy degrees, geography degrees, music degrees, art degrees. Sometimes students already have an information technology background, but we do not require that. And uh, we teach you from the ground up. So what does it do? It trains graduates to be programmers and web developers. If you've been reading about this program, you probably have a little bit of a, an idea of what computer programming is. But in a nutshell, it is training people to write the instructions that are required to a computer to get it to do what we want. So if you use a website, if you use an application like Word or Excel, if you download an app to your phone, those all consist of very specific instructions to the computer that gets it to do what you want. So that's what you would be learning to do. Well, how do you do that? Well, you get courses in computer languages, in databases, in web development, in mobile application development, and something called systems analysis and design. Historically, graduates of software development programs would get jobs as programmers or coders, that's what they were called. There are more senior positions called systems analysts, and these were people who came from that kind of a background, but with experience. It was their job to go into a department that requires a new system or a client company. They would gather requirements, and they would do some diagramming and charting, and they would develop a set of specs that they would hand over to a programmer. In recent decades, there has been a more uh, kind of a new hybrid position developed, a programmer analyst. So nowadays, most programmers do a certain amount of analysis and design. Those are very attractive positions for our graduates. What special things are there about the CAD program beyond what we've already talked about? Well, it's got a co-op option, a four month work term. There are two semesters of courses. And for students who qualify, so you have to get sufficient grades to get in, uh, you get to do a co-op work term. What is really nice about the Kitchener-Waterloo area is that this is a very strong area for high technology. Conestoga has been around since 1967. Our, the local employers know us and we know them, and they are very happy to hire our students and grads. So what's it like studying at Conestoga? Well, typically classes are about 35 students. There is a strong emphasis on hands-on and practical exercises. Software is free, and uh, that means that there are academic licenses uh, available. 
or the, the, the software is open source. And I'll say a little bit more about the careers that the program leads to. So programmer, web developer, developing websites or web applications, software testers, or those systems analysts that we talked about. The program is bring your own device, BYOD, and Conestoga divides the three desirable or the types of desirable laptops that you would need into three categories, good, better, best. Because this is a software development program, we like our students to have the best model and there are the minimum requirements there. If you have any questions about the program, I will be more than happy to answer them. There's my name, Randall Kozak, and my email address, rkozak at conestogac.on.ca. Just before I let you go, just something else. If you're curious about what the campus looks like, well, um, there is uh, a, front, a front shot of the campus. This is the Waterloo campus. And like I said, Waterloo is surrounded by companies which are very strong and high tech. Uh, recently, this campus has been renovated and a new wing has been added specifically for the IT programs. So that's what it looks like from the front. There is the main level foyer. And this is something called the welcome desk and you see that there are folks who work there who are smiling in the picture. I think you'll find they're almost always smiling and they can answer just about any questions that our students may have. And you can see that the campus is nice and bright. There's lots of natural light. That's true throughout most of the campus. Well, thank you very much for joining me. I very much appreciate having this opportunity to talk to you about this program. Thank you.